So I wanted to show up two uh, tablets I have for reading uh, mostly comic books, uh, reading eHub books, and watching YouTube videos. Now this is a Blackberry Playbook. Uh, this is my second one I inherited this one. Mine, uh, I plugged it in one night and I went to turn it on the next morning and it was completely dead. I went through all the there's reboot things you can do, uh, hold down one button and the other one. I tried all that stuff and it just it just died. Uh, I was told afterwards that you shouldn't keep them in these cases. Now, this is an original Blackberry case. You know, it's not like an aftermarket one, so I used to keep it in that, keep it, you know, nothing happened to it, but uh, I don't know if that overheated it or what, so this one I keep it just out of the case when I'm uh, charging. I actually keep it over the, uh, my computer uh, tower's got a big fan on top, and I put it on top of that to uh, keep it blowing on it when it's um, charging to keep it cool. I don't know if that's going to help or not. So the two apps I use for just regular um, ebook or e-hub reading is... One's called Book Reader, and it's on the BlackBerry app, and that's basically what the app looks like. I really like this one. Uh, I've never had a problem with it. So, there's that. Now the comic book one is, that's what the app uh, icon looks like. And it opens up, it's called Comics Library. Right now I got just uh, some Transformers and I'm reading these. These are old um, Dead World series that I got the digital copies of. And I really like this app. i open up one just to show you. You just tap on it and you just you move it around. You can pinch it and just... Uh, Swipe it with your finger to uh, change the uh, flipped page. Then to get it back to the menu, just swipe down. Then you can either go back, which will bring you back to your comics. You can go to the next comic, change, um, go backwards with the pages, or you can go to a certain page and just, just tap it twice. I really love this uh, this app. This is really a good one. I forget what it was. It was it's not a free app, you have to pay for this one. It's a couple bucks, if that. I really like it. Uh, like I said, I never had really a really problem with this one. Um, I know they pretty much discontinued the playbooks. Uh, I don't use this one to watch uh, go on the internet, just in case I don't want it, this thing to crash. Um, try to do everything I can to keep this one working right. But... Uh, in between getting this one and my Blackberry crashing, my playbook uh, crapping out on me, I did buy one, so I'm going to show you that one. Let me uh, get this one out of the way. So the one I bought after my Blackberry uh, crapped out on me was a Samsung. This is their Tab 2. This is a 7-inch model, I think. Oh, died because I didn't swipe it. So I just swipe to unlock, but uh, right now I'm using... Uh, I think it's called Comic Rack, and it's a free app. Uh, it's not too bad. It has some issues with it, but uh, I got DMZ on here. But for a free app, it's pretty good. And you just go back, or I should go home, back to the home page. Now the app, or the, the app, the tablet itself, I have some problems with it. Real nice picture. Or a real nice screen, I mean, picture. The uh, only problem with it is the actual tablet itself on the BlackBerry. So grab it. Oh, well, I might as well, while I'm talking about the, the pro pros and cons, I guess we'll do that. So let's go over the pros and cons of the BlackBerry playbook. One of the cons is they don't, I don't think they make them anymore, and there's basically no technical support. I couldn't find any on how to fix the one I had. I wasn't going to bother bringing it anywhere. Pros, like I say, you get the, I really like that comic book app and that book reader app, the Yub Reader. Other than that, it's got the reverse cameras if you like that kind of stuff. 
Uh, the picture's fine for uh, watching YouTube videos, which I also do on this. Uh, it's nice to just sit when there's nothing on TV to watch some YouTube videos. I don't, like I said before, I don't watch, uh, it, I use the internet on this one because I don't want nothing happening to it. I just use it to read books and comic books. And there's some games for my niece and whatnot on here. Easy to hold. You know, it's fairly thick, but it's, you know, it's got some weight to it, but, you know, it's easy to hold. And with those speakers on the front, that's a pro, and I'll get to why when I do the Samsung. The power button's on the top, kind of right in the middle, kind of out of the way. The only, uh, another con about this one is that uh, you can't put any SD cards or micro SD in it. You have to plug it into your computer, which, I mean, that's... It'd be nice if they had it uh, um, where you could just pop in an SD card. Well, it's alright, just as soon as you load your comic books in, you hit that and it'll come up as scanning for your comics and it'll just... So once you delete some, it gets rid of them, then it uh, imports all the new ones that you put in. So that's alright. It's, you know, a bit of a pet peeve I have with no SD card. Okay, so let's get that some out of the way. Okay, now the Samsung. Nice screen, nice good resolution or whatever. The camera, I don't really use this as a camera. Uh, the videos, they work fine on it. Connects to the internet fine. Uh, I don't have any major issues with it. Uh, that wise, like software wise. Now the actual hardware, now this is where I got some issues with this one. The power button is right there, and that's the volume up and down. So I hold it usually like this, and I sometimes I rest my finger because this thing is super slippery. Like, I don't know what the hell this surface is, but man, you got just a little bit of oil on your fingers. This thing's sliding all over the place. So I hold it like that. Sometimes I keep hitting the power button and shutting it off, which is an annoyance to say the least. It's also curved like that, so that makes it also really hard to uh, hold. Uh, the speakers, that's a, really a pain. Because like I said, with the BlackBerry, I hold it like that. The speakers on the Samsung are right here, like the iPhone. Right there, that's where you plug it in. Uh, so those are the speakers, so if you got it sitting on your lap, and you got the speakers blocked, you got to crank it up, and if you move it, you got it blaring. That's kind of an annoyance. I'd rather have them in the front like the Blackberry. One nice thing is there's where you can put in a micro SD card. But if I get a shot of it or not. I don't have oh yeah, I do have a card in there. Yeah. It's so freaking hard to see if you got even got a card in there. So okay, you can see the card there, so you push it in obviously to get it out. And that's how far it comes out. Now I can't really Get my thing on a tripod, but if I get the shadow out of the way. Trying to get that out is a real pain because it's you got to kind of use your fingertips or uh, fingernails to get it out. So if you got short fingernails, that's a real pain in the ass. I don't know why they did that. That was kind of a stupid design. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, it's it was on sale, it wasn't too much. So, like I said, it got me by until I had that other one, that other Blackberry, but... So the slippery wise, like I said, I've hold this, and it's a real, like I said, it's super slippery. I don't know what the hell that, like I said, the surface is, but what I'm gonna do is I went up to the uh, local skateboard shop and bought a roll of uh, grip tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out some pieces of grip tape and stick them on the back here. Just get some surface to hold, like slide around as much, especially with these rounded corners and rounded edges. It just kind of slides right out of the hands. That's a bit of an annoyance. I know they make uh, plastic things you can kind of hold, but I don't, know, I don't like that. So I might put a few pieces right here and uh, just keep it from sliding all over the place. So that's basically it. Um, if anybody else has any comments they want to add, go ahead. Or if you want to show off your, uh, what kind of tablet you use and show off any pros and cons to it, uh, feel free. So thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you on the next one.